They were anxious, admittedly. Because these people who, I'll give the administration credit, had done nothing but cause problems for the school as a whole, were going to be put up in front of the church, just like we do here, and leave the school in song. And they were worried that they were going to do something truly horrible. I, like, as bad as change the words. That we have microphones up there. Say a bad word and then try to shrink back into the class. They were worried, and I understand, and I get that. But I told them, I said, listen, these guys only take from this institution right now. I'm giving them an opportunity to give back. And I said the same thing to the kids. And I was honest with them. I said, guys, I, I've heard about you. I heard about how you constantly are causing problems for every community, for teachers, for just people in the area. People have written you off. You need to know that. But here's a chance for you to give back. But I need you to know something, that if you get up there, if you sit in these rows and in front of those microphones, and you make a joke of what this school stands for, a Catholic school on the south side of Chicago, then I need you to know, I am getting up from the piano. I'm walking out that door. I'm getting in the car, and I'm driving to my home. And you will not see me again. Because I will not be here anymore. Because they don't believe that you can do this. But I'm trusting you with my reputation, which is nothing here. And my job. And initially, they were, you know, taken back, you know, one or two kids were like, eh, maybe we shouldn't do it, Mr. Fricks. <laughs> Not that they were going to do it, but they didn't necessarily trust their other friends. But then some of, you know, some of the more vocal kids were like, oh, let's do it, let's do it. So the mass day comes, it's in November, and we go in there, and they, they, they stand up there. And I invite the, uh, the congregation of students, 900 or so boys, to stand. And, and they do. And these guys sing. Those guys don't sing yet, okay? They're still feeling it out. They still need to learn some of the music because they've never sung. And they do a wonderful job. Teachers, at, at the end of Mass, they got a standing ovation, okay? They got a standing ovation because they see that these people tried. Teachers came up afterwards to these boys and thanked them for their service to the school. And I don't think some of these boys have ever had this experience before. Mass is at Brother Rice now. Everybody sings.